Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, let's talk about what I have on tap for November since October was awful. All right, I am so glad to be in a new month. I'm so glad that it is November 1st. I love a fresh beginning. I love a fresh start. I love doing things to manifest, doing things to bring abundance into my life. And um, I made sure not to put too much on my plate for November. So I'm going to go through the four things that I have picked out. Okay. Let me get me scribe out. Let me scribe. Read what you own challenge is happening this month. Are you up for the challenge? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I put a poll up on a YouTube short. So far, out of 100 people, all 100 people said, no way. <laughs> all right. Okay, so for my November TBR, God, look at this hair. Who cares? Who cares? Did you know that there is a banned book group over on Fable? Um, I created it. I've got Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads as a moderator, as well as a book chat with Pat. She's helping out as well. Um, and this month we have voted and picked The Absolute True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. Um, shorter side book, National Book Award winner, and that sucker's banned in a lot of places. Why not read it? I'm about four chapters in. Hopefully, hopefully, I'll finish it today. That's the goal. If I could finish one book on the first day of the month, that's amazing. And that's a good way to start, you know, because literally like October, I think I read two books, maybe three. I'm not even sure. I'm kind of blacked out from the whole month. <laughs> okay. Okay, then over on my Patreon, yeah, we have a book group over there. We took October off, thank God. Okay, so like for real, it's November 1st. I have the windows open because it's like 75 degrees outside and a motorcycle just went by. There's no global warming. Okay. Um, the book that we all agreed to read is A Monster She Wrote by Lisa Kroger. And Melanie R. Anderson. All of these books are basically ebooks, so I will put pictures here wherever they fit. Um, this is nonfiction and it talks about the authors of the monsters that we love. So we're gonna be talking about Mary Shelley. We're gonna be talking about women authors, um, you know, that brought forth just some amazing creatures. I'm looking forward to it. It sounds really interesting. All right, then I'm doing a buddy read with Michael Romeo Talks Books. Do you know he's coming back? Yeah, Michael Romeo Talks Books has a fantastic channel. He's gonna ramp it up and bring some new content, so make sure that you're subscribed. Um, we are reading together. He asked me, and of course I said yes, uh, William Goldman book called Magic. Um, that's on hold. I have it on hold from a library. So somebody else is reading that sucker. The cover creeps me out. We'll see. I'm not sure what it's about. I think it's a thriller. I don't think it's supernatural, but there's like a mannequin, dummy, whatever on the cover. The cover creeps me out a little bit, I will say. It'll be fun though. And then, okay, so those are the three definites that I have to read in November. Then I have Net Galley November. I'm sure there's some net galleys that need my time and attention. I'm going to spend some time over there. Uh, read what you own challenge. I am loading up my Kindle Unlimited. All 25 slots are going to be taken. I'm going through. If it's been sitting there and I haven't read it and there's something new, I'm loading it on. I'm allowed those. And then the last thing is whatever I fancy. So if I feel like reading, do you know? Uh, v Castro book. I'm going to pull a V Castro book. Also, oh, I have to do that. All right, let's do that while I'm here. All 
All right, and then the last thing I forgot about is my random book from the shelves. And this month I picked Zero Saints. And this is by one of my favorites. This is Gabino Iglesias. Have you guys read Gabino Iglesias? If you haven't, you should, because his writing is amazing. It's truly amazing. Um, he has a new release out that I haven't gotten yet. I'm kind of waiting. I don't know if I should get it before the challenge, if I should wait. I think I want to go and read his backlog a little more. I don't know. Did you ever get like that? Or it's like, you don't want to read the hottest thing. You want to like go back in time. That's how I am with this. Um, and this was kindly sent to me by Angela. So Angela, I'm finally getting around to it. We'll see. We'll see if I could get Mr. Iglesias on my channel. I want to do an interview with him because still we're in November. His book, The Devil Takes You Home is still my top read of 2024. No spoilers. It is. And I'm not afraid to say it. Watson even agrees. All right, everyone. That's all I have. That's my TBR for November. Stay tuned and watch the shit show that I had for October. That'll be a fun video. All right. I hope you're all doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, goodbye for now and happy November. Write down those goals, set those intentions, and make shit happen. Bye.